Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the Turbo 360 Business Activity Monitoring Module. And we're going to have a look at a feature we added for click through to the Azure portal from BAM. So here in my Turbo 360 instance, we're in Business Activity Monitoring and we're using the feature we have that can query logs in App Insights and Log Analytics. And here I've got a demo for my employee benefits scenario. So the idea here is I've got files that process every day and I'm using the data in Log Analytics to create a user-friendly view. So this is aimed at helping your support operator or your business user be able to see um, what's going through the system here. So if I come into my employee benefits, I can see that each day we've been processing a file. And what I'm able to do is I can click on the file and that's going to open up the details of what was processed and then here I can view the individual stage and then here I've projected out all of the details from the log analytics event that matches this stage so if you imagine we have a parent query that looks for the transaction and then each of the steps on the diagram are executing a stage against or executing a query against log analytics to look for a match and stage and what I'm able to do in that KQL query, you can see down at the bottom here, I've actually crafted a URL so that I'm able to click on this URL and this will jump me straight into the Azure portal. So if I need to go a level down where, say, the support operator can do the triage of what's going on, he's seen that we've got um, the file for today. He wants to look a bit lower, day, lower down and he can jump straight through to the, log and, uh, sorry, the logic out run history and I can go and see a bit more detail about what's going on if I need to. In Turbo 360, you would have a bunch of features for being able to query about these properties that you've created. You've got some features like dashboards where you can create user-friendly dashboards for the support person to be able to see what's going on. So really what, what we're trying to do here is just de uh, democratize this support experience to make it easier for people who aren't Azure experts to be able to support some of this solution. Now, how I achieve the click-through URL in the transaction designer here, simply go into the edit bit. And this is where I've put my KQL query here. So we have these in the documentation. We've got some sample queries to show people how to use this, which I'll jump to in a second. Um, but you can see in this query, I actually format the, um, the URL. So if I jump over, I'll just jump from here actually. So I'm in the documentation. We've got this sample section for BAM data queries. And in the logic app one here, you can see I've got a bit of a walkthrough of what we've done. I've got a more detailed video about this demo. And then the bit that I'm looking at is the get employee data um, stage in the diagram. So here's the query that I used. And you would be able to basically um, replace the subscription resource group logic app and the action that you're looking for. And then the rest of it should really just, um, just kind of work. So, you know, the portal URL here, it'll inject all the right things. So what I've done is I've got a template string. I'm creating some lookup values here that I'll use further down when we do this, um, we do this replace strings function here. I'm basically just injecting in the right values into that template string to create the portal URL. And then the key bit in this query, there's a few things like um, projecting out some of the tracked properties so I can make them display in the in, for the user and I can limit the fields that I want to display back down here. So really quick video today, but I hope this um, shows how with Tibble 360 you can just add that layer on top of that complex solution that your users are struggling to work out how they would support it so we can make it easier so they can see what files have been processed in this case they can see a bit more detail that will help have self-service for business and support users and then if you need to go to the next level you can just click through into azure and it'll open up the run history for you if you craft your query the right way um, thanks for listening to today's video we hope you have a great week